Hi everyone, I'm Jade. What we're talking about today is conference talk. So we've got conference small talk and also more generally about um, talking about the thing that you're there for. Um, the reason I made this lesson is because well, hopefully I want you to learn how to avoid that awkward moment when you're like standing outside a conference room or somewhere or maybe it's a break you could be by yourself and you're just standing there like what am I supposed to do am I supposed to say something am I supposed to talk to someone and maybe you um, start to pretend that you're busy get your phone out or something so anyway this will save you in your awkward moment situation so um, the small talk part that's where I'm imagining your you're waiting for something to happen, you're waiting for the next talk or there's a break or there's some kind of um, interlude where you're not doing something. Here are some conversational starters that you could that you could have. You could say to someone, are you presenting a paper here? Um, that would be like an academic kind of conference. Um, or you could say, are you a speaker here? Um, if they look like they are. Um, or you could be more general. Um, you could say, is this your first time in blah, blah, blah place? A lot of the time, these kind of conference events, people come come there from all, you know, all different places. So um, it could be any place really, couldn't it? Um, but let's say it's in Amsterdam. Is this your first time in Amsterdam? And then you can generally talk about Amsterdam and how lovely it is and how nice it is to ride bicycles all the time. Um, perhaps you kind of know each other, you've met before, in which case you can ask them how they're getting on with their work. So uh, getting on, I'm going to use a pen again, means uh, progressing is the formal uh, verb for get on. How are you getting on with your research? Or how are you getting on with your project? Or how are you getting on at work? You've met before, but this could um, get your, your uh, you, this could help you catch up with each other. Um, what if you want to, want to be friends and you want to make friends at the conference? What can you say? You can say, um, so are you attending the welcome drinks tonight? Because you want them to say, sure I am, let's go together. You want them to say something like that maybe. Um, or if you're not sure yet, if you want to hang out later, you could say, where are you based? So the place where you're based means the place where you, where you work. So um, I'm based in Dubai at the moment. Um, so, you know, this one, I'm thinking it's more like if you're all part of the same bigger company, but you have different offices in different places, perhaps you just want to know where they're based. Um, moving on from general small talk, because not everybody likes to do small talk. Um, we've got some talk about the talk now. So what did you think of the last talk? And I've got some suggestions for you to sound very clever and informed like this guy. So you could say, yes, I thought it, it raised some interesting questions. What that means is um, it was a kind of talk that made you think and consider new things and, you know, got some, got some ideas and some brain connections flowing there. Or perhaps you could say, well, it provoked a fierce debate. A fierce debate would be when people are very much disagreeing with each other about what was said and there's not much agreement about it. Whereas it generated a lively discussion, doesn't have the um, oppositional against each other feeling of a fierce debate. A lively discussion is like in, on the uh, enjoyable side of things, talking about things in, you know, sharing different opinions, but not so much in confrontation. Or you might say, as your clever person, it challenged the status quo. Um, the status quo is 
the established way of doing things. So this paper may have been so, so revolutionary that it challenged the status quo. It's never, it's such a new idea. Nobody's ever considered it before. Um, or a similar one is it presented a new angle. A new angle would be a new way of looking at things. So you could say any of those things and sound very, very clever. When we come back, I've got um, some more conversational tips for you to use at a conference. Let's have a look at some more conference conversation. So if we're talking generally now about the conference, someone might say to you, how have you found the conference? And we're using the present perfect there because the conference isn't finished yet. But you would say, how did you find the conference if it's already, if it's already finished? So um, you can decide, do you want to be the can-do positive guy? He's the one with the positive energy who's saying good things. Or do you want to be the nitpicker, downer, who thinks everything is... Yeah, not so good. So let's have a look at some uh, some phrases. So if you're this guy, you could say, the presentations have been to a high standard. That means a high standard is up here. Everything was rather good. Or you could say, overall, it's been worthwhile. So that implies that it was worth your time to come to participate in the conference or attend the talks. But what about the nitpicker here? This is the kind of person who's just never really satisfied. Maybe in an academic context, they're being like this because they weren't invited to speak at the conference. So maybe that's why this person's not feeling so um, happy about the conference. This person might say, well, I'm rather disappointed about the organization. And what they may mean there is like the lunch wasn't very good or it, they didn't have enough desserts or something like that. Or they may also say, this could be about the talks. Oh, what did you think of the talks? Nothing stood out. Nothing was good. Nothing was interesting to me. Nothing stood out. Or so far, it's been mediocre. Mediocre is a more um, academic word for uh, average, basically. So far, it's been average, not up to my high intellectual standards. Mediocre. So what now if you want to talk about specific talks? Um, here, are some, here are some verbs that you can use and some um, adjectives that can be really useful for that. So you could say, maybe you're talking about a presentation, maybe you're talking about a film, maybe you're talking about a talk. You can say, the talk was rather in depth. If something is in depth, it means that it goes into detail and it um, tells you, um, yeah, it just tells you in detail about everything that's important, perhaps more than you would expect, especially using this um, rather with it as well. Perhaps that's now more than you want. It's maybe it's too in depth for you. What if the film was fairly superficial? If something is superficial, then it's not really going into something at a deep and meaningful level. It's just being very surface. So um, if you're in an academic context, that would be an undesirable thing, I guess, for something to be superficial. And what if the film was particularly insightful? When something's insightful, you, you learn something new. It gives you like a, a new way of understanding something. So that would be a good experience if, if something is insightful. Um, but perhaps you want to use a different structure. You could say, um, now we're talking about the talk or film or whatever. It presented complicated research. Um, complicated. It was difficult to understand, but I, I feel like that's implying it was delivered in a way that you understood it. It presented groundbreaking research. If something is groundbreaking, it's completely new. Um, that could be a really great thing to um, get to the conference. The reason you go there is to learn something new, right? Or what about this? 
the talk outlined key areas of concern. So key is another word for important or similar to major as well. It outlined major areas of concern, something we really need to address, something we really need to look at because it's very important. So using all of these, um, that should help you when you're at a conference so that you um, don't feel quite so lost for conversation. You can have something to say at a level of small talk, but also at a level where you're, um, you're showing that you paid attention to the talks and you're, sh and you're showing to people that you have an opinion on what you've listened to. So based on that, you can decide if you're kind of nitpick a person or if you're the positive can-do energy guy. Uh, what you can do now is go to the website, do a quiz on this. You can also subscribe here on my Invid channel, also on my personal channel because I've got two channels on YouTube to help you learn English. And I have finished now. So I'm going to um, catch up with my conference buddies. We're, um, we're, we're just going to have some nibbles and we're going to have some drinks tonight. Um, so come back and watch me again soon and I'll see you later. Wait for me.